It sure is nice out right now uh, as we take a live look from our Fox 46 tower cam, a view of the Queen City there. Uh, it's been gorgeous out. We shake, shake, uh, were able to shake off the showers from yesterday. Bring it in Chief Meteorologist Tara Lane for your complete neighborhood storm watch forecast. What's the weekend looking like, Tara? Weekend's looking pretty good. It's just the temperatures that will be uh, changing out there. That's really uh, the only thing that we have to forecast, really, just the, the change in temperatures. We go from a little bit on the warmer side like we are today to the colder side by the end weekend. Boy, I'm in the Christmas spirit now after those couple of stories and fall football spirit too. Yeah, high school football tonight. We're going to hear from CSL's Grace Remington here shortly. She's live out there at one of the uh, high school football games tonight and the weather is looking pretty good if you're going to be headed out cool and dry. So grab the blanket and maybe the heavier coat with temperatures falling into the 50s, mid 50s by halftime. Now let's take a look at the rain that we did pick up quickly coming through late yesterday evening. Last night we even had a few showers that we we were tracking late yesterday afternoon. Pretty decent totals, one to one and a half inches, where we did see some of those heavier pockets rolling through from around the Charlotte Metro and up through the mountains and foothills and parts of upstate South Carolina. Obviously, a nice and dry scan out there since earlier this morning. We're sticking with the sunshine before sunset this evening. 68 pleasant feeling degrees right now over the Queen City. The wind not too bad out of the south at five to ten miles an hour. We still have a few spots there hanging out around 70, 72 actually in Chiral. We've got 70. In Lancaster, mid to upper 60s along the I-40 corridor and cooler mid 50s up in the mountains. 63 for that cooler high tomorrow, so it's not feeling terribly cold just yet, but we do have a dry cold front that will come on through and drop temperatures even more for the second half of the weekend on Sunday. But notice all the while, sticking with the sunshine, beautiful out there, just some scattered clouds. It will feel especially cold, of course, in the morning, namely Sunday morning. Sunday morning slows back in the upper 20s to lower 30s. So tomorrow, the fast cold front moving through, already sliding off to the east by the afternoon. So that will start to usher in some of that colder air for tomorrow night. Now, along the way, well, we could have a couple of snowflakes maybe being squeezed out of the front late tonight and early tomorrow. And you can see some hints of that showing up with the blue and maybe a few sprinkles there up in the mountain communities. But if you do see that, if you live there in the higher elevations, it's not going to add up to much, maybe a bit of a dusting on the highest ridge tops. And uh, that is about it. Otherwise, sunshine all around and good news for the runners stepping off at 720 for the half and the full the Charlotte Marathon, as we were just hearing about from Maureen and uh, temperature will be chilly to start, but then if you're wearing those layers, you can probably peel them off. I know a lot of runners, they uh, wear those disposable t-shirts or maybe longer sleeves. They can just leave them on the side of the road. And by the end of the race, three, four, five hours or so, if you're running the full, that temperature will be back up into the lower 60s. The wind not so bad under that mostly sunny sky. And check out the mountain forecast. Boy, it's going to be cold. Sunday morning and Monday morning, Tuesday morning, temperatures falling into the mid to upper 20s, but lots of sunshine again. There's that minor chance of a few sprinkles or flurries there early tomorrow. But beautiful weather will continue through most of next week. I say most of next week because you can see on the seven day forecast, not only in the mountains, but around the Charlotte area too. the next front, we could get a couple of spotty showers, not until next Thursday into Friday. Some more needed rain on the way. And after this little cool spell coming up, back up the roller coaster hill we go. Temperatures warm back up around 70 by this time next week. Not too bad, right, Tara? Thank you.